Hello, my name is Augusta Gormengast or Clementine Parker. This video is a quick disclosure of who I am and what my content is about. I started putting up videos on various subjects and haven't given an explanation, so I thought I'd put this together very quickly. So at the moment, I am starting an online business. That will take me months. We're looking at six to 12 months. My reasons why? I have other commitments as well as health issues, so I cannot do this in a short amount of time. In the meantime, I have been sharing with you what it is that I do and my areas of interest. So basically, if we look at my music, um, I'm just going to say it, I am not competing with anybody. I am not on X Factor, I'm not on Australian Idol, I am not auditioning and I am not interested. I put that out there because a few people have started to think in longer lines of what am I doing and what it is is more of a rehearsal so coming from doing a long history of dance, uh, theatre, music, um, acting, drama, you name it, I've done all the performing arts so since I've been unwell the last three years Basically, I haven't had an opportunity to do what I love and what I am doing um, is, if you like, getting back into my craft and I don't need anyone's approval and I don't need to be auditioning or competing. All I'm doing is using myself as my own yardstick. I am matching my next best attempt. So every video that I do, it is amateur. It is just very roughly done. I, you know, pick a song, I put it out there, I enjoy myself and that's it. And next time I'll be going back over that video and I'll be polishing it. And then I'll be going over it again and I will do a more professional recording. And I will pick and choose the ones I want to remaster and redo. And if I want to change the music or the key or, you know, add a different backing track, look at it as a work in progress this is nothing of a polished nature that's why i've got exploring with backing tracks that's why i've got dancing and yeah basically that's what i am doing i am a musician but i am sharing with you my works in progress my craft what it is that i do uh, the reason why I have so many different avenues, it's because in my life I have done so many different things. I have done tap dancing, I have done drama, I have done, um, you know, um, salsa dancing, I've done tango, I've done lindy hop, um, rock and roll dancing, I've done a lot of different things. And at the moment I'm just having fun with that. but. I, what I will be doing, and now that you know that what I'm not doing, I'm not being professional here, um, what I will be doing with basically what I've started out is building the music side of things. The dance, probably not. That's not going anywhere. I'm not a dancer. I do not have the time. Uh, the same with theatre. I love acting, but I will not be going down that path either. So you're not going to see me acting or dancing that much. It's just going to be more music. And when it comes to music, I classify myself as a composer. What that means is I write music, which is why you will see me doing everything from playing flute, piccolo, violin, piano, singing. Uh, again, I write the music and I perform it. If I choose to perform other people's work in the meantime, that's just for practice. It's just for fun. And at some point I'll be releasing my own music. But if you knew how much time and preparation went into writing a song, like a good quality song, you wouldn't be questioning it because my creative process is lengthy. I mean, you could be waiting months for something decent. So yeah, and that and having to copyright it and everything. So it's not going to be like me producing songs in a quick way. It's going to take a while. But I do hope to produce good quality music and to write in the style that I like. And uh, as mentioned before, I do classical, um, but I'm also going into pop. So I'll be doing something along the lines of ABBA, where I'll take a lot of classical elements and I'll fuse them into a pop song. At the moment, my uh, music has been sort of 1930s, 1950s. 
I'm not sure how well that's going to take off. So I'm actually going to be adjusting that a little bit, but that's part of the creative process. Again, I may share, I may not. I sort of keep my music to myself because I'm not comfortable until it's absolutely perfect to share with anybody. Having said that, the other thing I can share with people is my violin. And I have learned for many years, but whether it's violin or flute or piccolo or piano, I can still teach music. I have no problem teaching. So what I will be doing is focusing on violin because my main instruments are going to be voice and violin. And I will be basically writing studies. And my reason for this is I have wanted for a long time to write studies for violin to improve myself and for other people to get to basically get the handle on the instrument quite quickly. So violin takes longer to learn than other instruments. It takes a hell of a lot of practice to just learn to hold the instrument. And that's your foundation. You need to hold the instrument properly and get a good sound out of it. Once you've got that, then you can go into the studies. I'm not going to be teaching how to hold an instrument because it's quite tedious and I think it's better done in person. I don't think I could really do a video explaining it and everyone's got their own idea. Everyone holds the violin differently. So all I know is I've worked out how it works for me and I'm happy to write music. So once you can get a sound, you can hold it, you know, you can start on your exercises. Your first foundation is obviously your scales and they're boring. No one ever wants to play scales. So what I'm trying to do is make it fun, but not so fun that it's going to take you, you know, years and years and years. I'm going to make it fun, but 50% fun and 50%, you know, drilling. So you're going to end up, you know, playing a piece, which is maybe half boring, half alive, but by the end of it, you will have learned whatever technique it is that you're supposed to learn. Now, having said that, I can bring people up to an intermediate level, but not professional level, not this stage, but I will do my best. As I go along, I write music, so that's not a problem. So what I will be doing is probably releasing a classical violin studies at some point. Um, in terms of voice, I will not be teaching voice, forget it. It is just something I do because I am learning to write pop songs. So I'm learning to write lyrics. It's actually very difficult to write a good song and to write good lyrics. So at some point I will release my own lyrics and my own songs. You can have a look at what I do, but yeah, right now I'm just playing around. Um, so yeah, for that, just be focusing on violin and singing. That'll just come into the, basically the pop songs that I'll be writing later on. Um, in terms of all the music therapy things you see, I've had a really hard think about what it is that I'm doing and I'm actually a healer and I have managed to come back in the last three years from a very, very bad situation with my health and I think I ought to share that with people, just sitting there, you know, and sending people links and pointing them out to what could help, what couldn't work, isn't really um, giving them... A structure to follow and like I find a lot of people are coming to me for help believe it or not I get hundreds of people just pretty much everyone I know I, there's always something I can help them with and it's getting too much for me so I'm going to start a course what I will be doing is putting what has helped me recover everything that I know into it but along with my music so you know, you'll be listening to the music that I write and there'll be obviously talking and there'll be uh, other things in it, but you'll basically be guided through certain meditations and things and it will take you from, you know, where you are with health problems and whatever it is to getting over that and recovering. And I can only deal with what I've had to deal with, uh, but that's pretty much a lot. So I will be putting that forward. Um, again, that'll be just like the Violin Caprices. It'll be another product that will be put out there for other people that they can purchase. Um, in terms of spirituality, yeah, I am very spiritual. So I think people also getting the wrong idea what I am. I'm not part of a religion. I'm not part of a cult. I'm not part of a sect. I am what you would call a light worker or an enlightened being. I am one of the 
people that's building the new earth. Now, what I'm going to try to do is explain it in a nutshell. The world is splitting, okay? You've got the old world that everybody knows, okay? The duality, the black and the white, and basically the matrix, everything that we've already known, what's normal, yeah? That is destroying itself. In case you haven't noticed, the world has gone crazy the last few years. That's supposed to happen because things, think of it as compost. It's breaking away the system, it's falling apart, and it's meant to so that people can come forward and go, this sucks, and think of something new and develop a new idea and basically think their way out of it. Okay, and we are the new people. So the light workers and anyone who wants to join us, we're here to create the new world on top of the old. The old will continue to disintegrate. If you wanna be a part of the old system, knock yourself out, but it will just get harder and harder and harder to exist in it. And in the end, it'll just completely destroy itself. So the people that wanna come along with us, great. Those that don't, you can just stay where you are. But for those that do wanna come along, that's what I'm doing. So I am spreading a new energy. I am spreading light and love and happiness. And yes, it's completely opposite to what you see, but I'm not here to get pulled into the negativity. What happens if you're okay and someone comes along with a heap of negativity and dumps it on you? What happens? You start to feel bad and you start to drown and you get pulled down into it. Now, can you imagine if I'm trying to help people and people come to me and they keep pulling me down and drowning me. What do you think's happening? I start to drown. I get pulled down into it. So my answer is no, I'm not putting up with negativity. I'm not putting up with people dumping stuff on me. It's a no-go for anyone who wants to build a new earth and come into their selves. What they have to do is get in touch with themselves, ground themselves, center themselves, Start thinking clearly, start acting clearly. You gotta get a grip on yourself, your emotions, your reality, your life, because everyone's life is right now like spiraling out of control and you gotta come back to yourself, you gotta come back to your center. Now, all those things I can teach people, but I can't do it for them. And what I will be doing is sharing that information for free because most of it's readily available through other sources but it's also something that no one should be charging for. I've been told we're not to charge for these sorts of things because it's free for everybody. Everyone has the right to basically um, work on themselves and become a better version of themselves. And think about it, if everyone had that opportunity and all the people took that time and effort and worked on themselves, became the best version of themselves, then all these other things like the music and the arts and you know all these other options there'll be something that you can do and you want to do and you enjoy doing but most of all like you want to help everyone along well we want to help everyone along as much as we can to get to that point where they can help themselves now what i mean by that is people are short on time people don't have time to eat to sleep to do the things they love to even start another job and um I'm not blind to the world's problems. I just choose not to be enmeshed in them. I don't watch the news. People tell me the news. But even so, I'm well aware of the biased propaganda. And whether you like my views or not, I know what's biased and what's not. There are different sources of media. Um, I can watch world news. I can get my information from other sources online. The thing is, I do know what's going on, but I don't need to go into the fear. I don't need to go into the paranoia. I don't need to get caught up in all the dramas. You know, if you want to experience chaos on drama, fine, but it'll just make you stressed and stress will just make you sick. And then you won't have any energy for anything. You'll just be tired and exhausted and stressed and miserable. Now, I don't want to live like that. And I don't want to focus on people who are doing that. And I'm just trying to help everyone come up and get out of that because there's no need for it. There really isn't. And of course, I promote meditation. Meditation is very, very powerful, so I'll be teaching that. So you'll be getting the meditation for free, the spiritual things for free, and basically I'll offer a couple of courses, that's about it, and my music alongside at some point. Now, the reason I've cleared this all up is just, as you see, I've put a lot of videos up, they're very confusing, people are not knowing what I'm doing, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So now you know what to expect of me. I'll be releasing two courses and my music at some point and yeah, teaching 
everything that I know spiritually um, and doing meditation. So, yeah, uh, if you want to be a part of this movement, um, yeah, please feel free to follow me. Um, there's a lot of us coming on board doing the same thing. So, yeah, there's not just me. There's hundreds of us. Um, pick and choose. And, yeah, I wish you all the best on your journey. And just want to leave you on a note. Um, live your highest and your best life. Focus on the positive, you know, and see the world for what it really is. All the opportunities and possibilities they're in. You know, it's like, say you've got a health problem. I'll give you a quick example. Say you've got a toothache and you spend all day focusing on your tooth and you go, oh, my tooth hurts, my tooth hurts. Your tooth is going to hurt. You're going to have a horrible day. Now, if you stop and you say Google ways to get rid of the toothache and you keep telling yourself, oh, it's not that bad or, you know, it'll go away. It'll be fine. You know, it's not that bad or it just doesn't hurt and just distract yourself. You'll find by the end of the day, it'll be very mild, the pain and whatever you've tried to numb it at home made recipes whatever it is you found that would have worked and that's the difference between focusing on the negative and focusing on the positive you want to focus on the solutions you want to carve your way out of the despair and the misery and the difficulties you want to find solutions and you want to focus on the light not the despair and the darkness and the emptiness it's like it's like cup half full or half empty Sorry, yeah, full or empty. So, you know, that's up to you. It's where you focus your attention. So, yeah, that, that's what I want to leave you with. And just have a think about that. And we're all here to work together to create a better future. So let's do that. Um, yeah, and I look forward to seeing you in my next videos. And stay tuned. By the end of this year, I'll definitely have some very, very good products out there and some really amazing things to share with you all. Thank you.